Hey guys, it's Jenny. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, I'm so glad that you guys joined me and I'm so glad that you've come back if you have come back. Um, as always, I am a bargain shopper. I love finding a deal, thrifting all the way above. Um, I mostly post videos for Dollar Tree hauls. Um, and then sometimes I'll do shorts of like deals that I found from thrift stores, etc. Um, and again, today I'm here with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, if those of you that are new are just getting to know me, I am a mom of three. I have three boys. I've got four dogs. My house is always chaos. There's always background noise. So welcome aboard. <laughs> I am long-winded. I like to talk a lot and um, explain why I do what I do and buy what I buy because I buy a lot. Um, and really just discuss the inner workings of my brain. So um, I do have ADHD, so I do go off on tangents sometimes. Um, and I just generally love to talk. Um, I'm 100% Gemini, so. <laughs> um, I am from Utah. Um, so all of these Dollar Tree hauls that you're gonna see are um, in the Utah, Salt Lake City, um, Northern Utah areas. Those are the, the, the Dollar Trees that I go to. I don't live in Salt Lake, but I work in Salt Lake. So I'll venture to a lot of those. And then I live in, um, uh, Tooele County, um, which is where my Dollar Tree is. We only have one in my, in my area because it's a smaller town. So a little bit about me. Um, but yeah, that's what I was able to find with, um, or so this is going to be what I'm able to find in my area. Um, I think these are all actually from my store. Um, a couple different trips though, I believe. Yes, they're all from my store and a couple different trips. So anyways, I'm going to try, I always say this, I want to try to get through this without any edits. Um, so hopefully I'm not going to have any interruptions, but we'll see how that goes. So I'll go ahead and just dive right in. Last time I talked to you guys, I did tell you I've been trying to build up my, um, like my food storage pantry area a little bit. Um, and so I did get quite a few things for that because they didn't have them last time I went. Um, and then I always just try to find good deals, things that I think are good. Um, I am very big into price comparing. So I do compare with my local grocery store to make sure that they are good deals um, that we're receiving. It's not just, um, you know, a good deal because it says $1.25 that it truly is a good deal. Um, and yeah, um, with this one, I do also work in an office and I decorate my office. I love decorations. And so this does include some of the decorations from that as well. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right in. This does not have any organization to it this time. Um, last time I tried to keep them kind of organized. This one has none. So um, this is my son's throw in the cart. He always throws some things in the cart, my four-year-old. Um, so he wanted to do the super stack of chips original. So I guess he was feeling munchy. <laughs> so we got those. Um, I did start stocking up on some of my spices. I season a lot when I cook and so, um, I did get some cumin to put in my pantry area. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build up three months food supply so that if something were to happen, um, if groceries continue to go crazy, if I lose my income for some reason, if my husband loses his income for some reason, or if there's just shortages for some reason, like the toilet paper shortage of 2020, um, we'll have some items that we need just to make it until factories catch up or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm not a major prepper, um, a doomsday prepper, you know, I don't, I, who knows, maybe one day I'll venture that way with, with my current interest, but, um, so that's kind of what I'm doing with this is I do have, I have a storage space downstairs in my kitchen. I have a kitchen downstairs too. So I have a storage space downstairs, um, in my kitchen area that I just have for like extra, my pastas, my rices, my, um, shelf staple foods. So, um, so I'm trying to get a little bit of a storage on some of the, um, extra spices too, because I love spice. So I would really hate if I had to cook without spice for a certain amount of time. Um, so I did get onion powder. Um, this also helps if for some reason our family gets a bug and we're not able to leave the house for a little while, like when we all, when we all got COVID um, and I run out of something, I can just run downstairs and quickly have an easy replacement. So um, really it's just all in all just for convenience. And what I'll do is I will pull from it um, so that stuff in there stays decently fresh and then I'll replace it when I go back. Um, and then sometimes if I want to add a little more to it, then I'll, you know, start getting a little here and there with each check as I have the extra funds available. Um, also got cilantro leaves. So we eat a lot of fresh cilantro. 
I've never actually tried dried cilantro leaves, so I just got this to give it a try because I love cilantro. I know some people say it tastes like soap. I think it tastes like pure goodness. <laughs> um, last time I chatted with you guys, the cherries were an amazing deal. Um, I think they were almost $5 at um, Walmart when I had went there. Um, checked with another grocery store. Um, right here, here we've got Walmart, Lucky's, and Macy's. Um, and I checked with, with them to see how good of a deal it was. It was a very good deal for these cherries. I don't make cherry pie, but I will use these in other recipes. Um, and sometimes if you just want a sweet treat, it's nice to have something to pull from. So I got these. Um, they are good until 2026, July. Um, so I've got two more to add to it. I got only two last time. They had a ton of them, so I just figured I may as well. I try not to clear anything out or anything like that when I go. Um, I did get sliced pineapple. And I got the tidbits, so I had or the chunks. So I told you guys before I was checking on. Um, I had gotten some crushed, and that was a really good deal. Plus the fact that they had it, um, it's almost two dollars at the grocery store. So it does, is a savings, which is why I got it. My kids actually eat pineapple a lot. Half the time they eat my crush, which I tell them not to because that's what I use for recipes. Um, I just got the general mustard. I'm not a huge. I love mustard. I'm not a mustard snob. Any mustard I like. I like spicy mustard. I like Dijon mustard and I like yellow mustard. Ooh. Um, but I like it really any of it. I'm not picky on this. Now my family is picky when it comes to ketchup and they are picky when it comes, I'm picky when it comes to mayo. Um, I also, if you guys have had that mayo must, I used to make it before it was a thing on the shelves. It's mayo and mustard. Um, and I love it. So I'll use this to mix with mayo, um, in a, in different, like reusable squeeze container that I have and make my own mayo must to put on, um, especially to put on like, uh, pepper steak sandwiches, roast beef sandwiches, things like that. Oh, so good. Uh, really good with roast too. So, um, and then they had that Sus Susquehanna, Susquehanna Valley, um, last time when I went and I showed you guys, they had the Sus Susquehanna Valley, um, spaghetti sauces that I didn't buy. They had the vodka sauce and I can't remember the other flavor, but I didn't get those. I didn't get them this time either. Um, but I did get the pizza sauce. Um, I also found salsa, premium salsa. So I'm excited to try this. We are huge salsa eaters. Um, I eat salsa with everything. My husband is a, a chip and salsa lover. I just love salsa in general. Um, when I'm making tacos I don't I don't use taco seasoning I make my own seasoning mix and then I'll like mix salsa in with it or green chilies or things like that so I'm excited to get those a try and see if it's any good um this is another kid threw it in the cart so I don't think this is really that great of a deal honestly um I haven't checked recently but it didn't used to be um it's just kind of actually I think it's a little bit less to go through at the grocery store but he wanted it and put it in there so it's there <laughs> saves me the trip to Walmart. Um, so I guess I lied. This is kind of in an order. This is food. Um, so I always get these potato skins. I tell you guys this all the time. I always get certain snacks when I see them. Um, I have a house full of boys. Um, my kids are 20, 14, and 4. Um, they eat a lot. They snack a lot too. Um, so I got last time cheddar and bacon. I don't really like that one that much. It's okay. Um, this is my favorite, the jalapeno cheddar. They have been out of this for quite a while at mine and they just restocked at a ton. Um, I just got two of them. I keep these in the cupboard. We like them for road trips, especially. Um, it's good. If you guys, I don't know if you guys road trip at all in the winter, but it is so good before you go on a road trip to go to Dollar Tree another road trip staple and just snack staple. Um, I get just one of their little bag, their baskets, those big plastic tubs with the handles. And I, um, we have a sprinter van that we use for our road trips. Um, but even when we had uh, just our vehicle too, when we drive my little car for gas and stuff, I, I'll use that too. But um, we will, I will load that full of snacks and we'll just put it in between the two front seats. And that way, um, when the kids want a snack, they just reach in there, grab what they want. Um, it's right there, it's easy to get to, and we don't have to stop at the gas station and spend $40 on two bags of chips and a couple drinks. Like, it's a huge, huge money saver, and it's so nice to already have them. So I'll do that, and then I'll usually do fruit, a couple, like some fruit, um, we'll get snap peas and things like that too, but I will always load up on the snacks that they have at Dollar Tree. They have their Valentine stuff out, and I needed to get some for my 
four-year-old for his preschool treats. So we got these cute tiger pops. There's 22 in a bag, and I love these. I remember them from when I was young. These ones are Swirled Love. They're strawberries and cream. They sound so delicious. Um, so I'm gonna make this really cute Valentine for his class. We've got a couple other things we're gonna put in there, but um, I did it with my older boys too. And I basically have them hold their hand out like this so you can kind of see how it would be. And then I take a picture and then I take a little scalpel and we cut right here, put the sucker in there. And if it's off to the side, it looks like they're holding the sucker out at you. And then you just put paper um, cardstock on the back of it. Um, little message on the side and it's adorable and it's always a hit. So um, if I remember, maybe I'll do a video of it so you guys can see it, but it's a really fun idea and it's really inexpensive if you have printer ink at your house and you have scrapbook stuff. I have tons. Um, cardstock, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you can throw them together just with my two, 250 of suckers. I did add a couple other little things I'm going to put in there though, but for the kids. And then I, I got these because these always go really quickly. So I got the Sour Patch Kids Hearts. I got the Sour Patch Kids Sour Hearts, the black hearts. And then I got the Warheads Hearts. They're like puffy, kind of like puffy chewy candies. And I got a couple of each of those. Um, I showed you guys last time the baskets that I'm going to make for my family for their Valentine's baskets. So that's what those are for. Um, and then we got these because I thought these would be fun to do like a little fondue, chocolatey thing on Valentine's. We usually just hang out with our kids. Um, so they have these cute little heart marshmallows. These are really good. We got two bags and we opened them to taste them. <laughs> they taste really good. But these would also be fun to do with s'mores. I have a little um, s'mores, like house s'mores cooker. Um, and so you can totally do those with s'mores, you know, and have little cute pink ones for it. All right, um, got some more, got some parsley flakes, some more seasonings. This lemon pepper, I love this lemon pepper. It's King's Ford, um, lemon pepper, all-purpose seasoning, Caribbean citrus with a kick. So I love this one. Um, and then I got chili powder. So I actually have a big, um, a big one of the chili powder right now, one of the big, like huge size ones um, that I had got at Costco, but I wanted to have these to put downstairs in our food pantry storage area um also it's nice to have these in case when we do go on road trips we like to camp or go like kind of in the middle of nowhere um i will have um smaller versions to take with us to cook um and then i got two of these alani coffee um protein coffees these are mocha so i'm not doing the energy drinks i know this is kind of that I, i'm still drinking coffee but i have stopped with my energy drinks they had a ton today a ton and i wanted to get them to show you guys but because they're such a good price <laughs> but then when I used to buy them at the gas station. But my heart and my body is telling me that that's more important than showing you guys the great drink deals. So just know that they're there. Um, but these are actually really good deals. And the Alani stuff is usually, the Alani energy drinks are usually pretty pricey. They did have those as well. So $1.25 for me to get a couple coffee drinks. They do have um, caffeine in them, but this one is a protein drink as well. So it's a protein coffee. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be good. Um, I got one last time and it wasn't very good, but it wasn't the mocha. This is a hundred milligrams of caffeine. So not, not hugely bad actually. Um, similar to what I, what I would have probably got from coffee with how much coffee I would drink. Um, 90 calories and 10 grams of protein. So I got two of these to try. Um, oh, and I never reported back to you guys. I think it was two videos ago. I had got that true North, um, energy water, which I've gotten before. I love the true North energy waters but I got the black, I think it was black cherry. Um, I'm not a fan of that. So it's okay. Um, it tastes like, it tastes like cherry cough syrup without the sweetness. Like it really has that aftertaste of cherry, um, like cherry NyQuil. So I just, it's not, it's not for me. So um, just figured I'd tell you guys. Um, these I always get and I love them. So this is pure sparkle. It's the sparkling water, lemon lime flavored sparkling water with other natural flavors. I love it. I already know I do. I also like the orange. I probably prefer the lemon lime, but I've been drinking these instead of soda. Um, Mandarin orange is what this one is, and it's pretty good too. It's a four pack, so 
I mean, they're more than 25 cents a piece, but they're still not bad compared to like what I pay for, um, like the bubble waters and things like that. And then I told you guys last time, I do try to pick up chicken broth when I'm there, when they have it. They had a bunch. I only got two. They actually didn't have a bunch. They had like probably 20. And so I got two of them just to continue because I use chicken broth a lot. Um, when we're sick, I'll heat it up too. Usually I try to do more natural bone broth, but um, when we're sick, but um, I like to use it as a base when I'm cooking things, so. And then we got these for snacking. Um, so we've got the snack time, snack packs, um, global brands, 20% more. These are like, kind of like Ritz crackers, um, kind of what they remind me of. They do have, um, I think they're about the same amount, maybe a little bit less, but you know, when I went down the cracker aisle, when I went to the grocery store to try to see like what kind of pricing there was, nothing was under 280. Everything was more than that cracker wise. And I'm not a huge cracker eater. It's kind of snacks for my kids. And I know I want them. To, I mean, I want to get them good stuff too. Like I don't want them to eat crap, but, um, I kind of was looking at the different things that they have in them. And I mean, it all depends on what exactly you're trying to avoid. You know, you may not want these, but I know that they're going to eat Ritz anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's just, and, and my kids love doing, um, Lunchables. And so what I'll do is I'll get these instead. And then we have little like divider things that I can make and I'll have cheese. And I like certain cheeses. I like like Munster cheese and stuff like that instead of the typical, like the, the cheese that comes with it. You know, I like real cheese. So I'll cut up some Colby Jack and some Munster and some actual cheddar slices. And we'll make little um, Lunchables at home. Or we'll use like, we like to use Triscuits too. But. And then the Wells um, cheddar cheese. These taste very similar to the um, goldfish. So I get those every once in a while. All right. And then I got, oh, I got this Voila Classic Zesty Italian dressing and marinade. We're going to make some, um, some, I, I like to make a, this pasta salad. Um, and I like to use Zesty Italian. So I'll be using that for that. And I actually have tried it before. I do like it. I also, I love alkaline water, alkaline, alkaline. Um, this one is the alkaline water with electrolytes. Um, I think I pay like three or $4 for the one that's a little bit smaller than this at the grocery or at the gas station. So I figured I'd get this cause it's bigger. I can drink it all in a day. If I drink it all in a day, then I'm getting 50.7 ounces. Um, I bought two of them and then I will drink those and get more. They didn't, they actually only had a couple of those though. And then I got these cute airplanes. They have like little propellers and everything. How cute are those? So I'm going to have my son put those together and put those with his, I've got these blue and pink ones and these black and red ones. So we're going to put these together for his, some of his class Valentine things. Got three packs of those. And then I got, let's see. And I got this nail polish. It's 60 second quick dry it's by Candy Moyo, which is the nail polish they have there. It's um, in forest green. And I just thought it was pretty and my nails are really bare right now. I used to get my nails done. I always had really long, pretty acrylic nails. I get them airbrushed. Um, then I started doing gel nails and then I developed an allergy and I can no longer use a certain product. I don't even know what it is. Or I get that, um, I think it's called like Derma or Celia, I don't know. Anyways, I get a rash and blisters around my nails and my palms itch and it's no good. So <laughs> so now I just paint them and apparently that hasn't caused an issue. That seems to be fine for the last four years since I found out. So um, this is another throw in the cart for my son. He loves these towels. If you guys have ever used these, so they're towels that you just put in water, magic towels, but they're actually like just washcloths. Um, and they turn into what they show. So I have a ton of Mickey Mouse washcloths because he loves, loves these so much. It's always one of those things where he's like, mom, let's go do an experiment. And then we go and put it in water and it unfolds, <laughs> but it's, but it, he loves it. So, um, another alkaline water. And then I got my other Alani water or Alani drink. I'm very excited about this. You guys all know about this already. I've shown you before. Um, 
they had more whole milk at my store, the pantry staple milk. Um, I know that I have shown you guys before, a billion other people who do storage um, show this as well. Um, I like it. It's not bad for me. I'm not a big milk drinker, so I don't have to have like, I don't, I, I actually had never used to really drink milk and, and I drink it every once in a while now. Um, but I love that you can store it. You do have to refrigerate it after opening and usually I think it's drink it within like three to five days. Oh, this actually says 14 days, so that's not too bad. Um, most of the time when I use this stuff, I'm going to be using it for baking. Um, if we go, if we go, um, on a road trip, it's nice to have because then I don't have to actually store it in the cooler until we've opened it. Um, if for some reason we run out, it's nice to be able to run down and grab this really quick if I'm in the middle of something instead of having to run to the store and get a gallon of milk. Um, so yeah, so I got a couple of these. I was very excited about it because I do like to have that just in case and for the and for the food storage part of things, I, I think it's nice to have. So I got four of those. Um, this was a this was a really big haul, but a lot of it was food, as you can see. Um, it was actually all together was probably almost a hundred dollar haul between my work stuff and yeah. Um, and then they have these, and you know what? These are the coolest things. <laughs> so I absolutely love making Valentine's boxes. Love it. Like I used to have so much fun with my boys. We did robots. We did an airplane. We did um, God, we did all kinds. Of, we did a Pokemon card. We did a MP3 player, like the old, um, what are they called? Old iPods, like the, but they were big and they had like the circle dial. You guys remember those? Like I'm old, so. Anyways, and I have little headphones coming out of they made out of foam, like noodles. I don't know. So many fun, fun, fun ideas. But they have a whole kit so you can make your own little, like this is a little truck. And I'm obsessed, if you guys have watched some of my videos, I'm obsessed with like the little red truck. Um, my kid, my son has all the little blue truck books. Um, I just love cute little old trucks. I did grow up having little old trucks in my family, so that's probably why. But I just think they're the cutest things. I still have, I still have my Christmas up. <laughs> um, but see, I've got my little old truck there that I got probably like two years ago. But I just love them. Um, so this one I had to grab because it's so cute. It has a gnome. I'm not a big gnome person. They're cute. I can take them or leave them. But look at the freaking truck. Is XOXO and you can just make it and it has a little cutout for little the little cards and it's actually a decent size cutout so I'm excited to make this with my little guy I don't know if they're gonna do these in he's only four so he's in daycare preschool and I don't know if they're gonna do these kind of things maybe we'll just do cards in our like home <laughs> just so we can make it um but I just thought it was so cute usually I think they like do like the paper bags and decorate them or something right now right, when he's at his age so they have the cute little hanging signs, the like these long ones in the decor section. And they just had them stacked all different kinds. There was all kinds. There was one that said, be kind, be happy, be something. I don't know, be you, something like that. Um, and it was okay, but I wouldn't use it. But I think this one I might use. And you can actually DIY this and make it really cute if you put a wood frame around it. But even hanging it from the jute is cute. But it says home sweet home with the little bees. And I love bees. Like, I just love them. And the bee is actually like a little, like, chipboard. So you could remove it if you wanted to use it for something. But, um, and it looks like that slatted wood. It's not, but it looks like it. It's just really cute. And I think it looks really nice. So I might try to incorporate this somehow in my kitchen. Um, I'm still deciding, but I thought this was adorable. So I had to grab it so I could show you guys. And then, oh, I pulled all this stuff out, but I hadn't. So I got, I was trying to go down the skincare and I didn't see a whole lot. Um, I get a lot of, I, I do a lot of skincare. So I, um, I have a lot of stuff already, but I didn't have this one yet. So this is the Gel to Foam Hydrating Foaming Facial Cleanser. It has squalane and ceramides to soften, hydrate, and refresh, sulfate-free, alcohol-free, paraben-free, and no dyes. Um, it's by Global Beauty Care. So I'm excited to use this for a good cleanser. I'm actually all out of my facial cleanser. Oh, and then on the back it says, phthalates-free, good for all types of skin, silicone-free, not tested on animals, giving back community non genetic I don't even know what that word says, and then pH-balanced. 
it almost looks like it's a pore, like it's non-clogging, I think is what that means. I don't know. Anyways, got that. Got the hydrate, hydrating hand gel cream. I heard this is really good. It's paraben and phthalate free. Um, it says compared to Neutrogena Hydro Boost hand gel cream. That's some big comparisons because Neutrogena, we all know is expensive, but works really well. So that's a good, that's a big claim. So we'll try it out and see. Um, my hands do tend to get really dry, especially during cold and flu season. I overwash, overwash, overwash. Um, COVID ruined me with that. <laughs> I over hand sanitize. If I see it, I just use it because it's there. And then my fingers tips will crack really, really bad, like really bad. So um, I will be using that since that's what, what season we're in now. And then I, I use this Global Beauty Care, um, some of their other creams in the jars. This is actually the eye cream with collagen and peptides, depuffing, tightening, 15 minute eye therapy, lift and firm. So I'm gonna give this a try. I do use an eye cream right now and they discontinued it. It was, um, it was through Garnier, I believe it was, in Little Red Bottle. I loved it. Um, they discontinued it. I have one little bottle left. So um, I might give that a try and see. You know, it's probably not gonna be exactly the same. The price point's way different, but give it a try. I was very excited about this. Like I could have screamed in the store. In fact, I might have. I don't know why. <laughs> this is probably so embarrassing to say I was excited, but I found the put a lid on it. The poopery knockoff. Um, great sense, put a lid on it. Pre-poo toilet spray. This one is sea salt. <laughs> not flavored. That's disgusting. Um, sea salt scented. Scented. Um, it's by great, it's by great sense if I would have read that. Um, but I was really excited about this. I know that sounds so silly, but I work in an office and it smells good. I work in an office and I wanted to, um, one year because we work in a little office and you walk, the bathroom's right there. Um, and sometimes, you know, you're kind of embarrassed. And so I wanted to actually get this for all of the girls in my office, um, so that we could, or, you know, all of. I only work with girls in my office, but all of the people in the office, so they could have this for their private use or whatever. Um, I used to leave a little bottle in the back of the toilet at, at one of my locations. Um, but anyways, I, well, I would use that. I actually did the poopery brand, but that is a good price because the poopery brand is like eight or nine dollars. It is a little bit smaller, I think. I think just slightly though. Actually, it might not be. Oh my gosh. And it has a lighthouse on it. You guys, I'm obsessed with lighthouses. Like I want to visit every one of them. I love them so much. I should post some videos of, of some of the lighthouses I visited in my video comp, um, compilations of them. I love them. Anyways, see tangent, but yes, found them. So excited. They had two cases. I only bought two because I kind of felt weird that I was so excited to see the, the pre poo spray. <laughs> um, so I found this. You guys, there's so many fun Valentine's things, especially if you have a girl that you're buying for. I don't, um, but I bought this for myself. Um, it's a little rose. It's got the little like nubs that would have been thorns. They're not pokey though. And then look, it's, there was some that had like the really bright like fuchsia orange. Um, I just loved the golden color. It is very soft. This is gonna be my all over face powder brush. But how freaking cute is that? And that's just gonna look so perfect in a little, in my little container with my brushes. I just love it. Um, you could do some of the best gift baskets for like 10 bucks for Valentine's Day. Like the best with some of the stuff that I was seeing. Okay, some of the other things that I found. I love these. So these are those precision facial razors. They have the long ones, but these ones actually snap closed, which I like for your purse. Um, it never fails that I am driving somewhere and I look in my rear view and I've got a little hair coming in and I can't get it out and I left my tweezers at home, but I only see it because of the way the sunlight's hitting it. So it's perfect for me to have one of these in my purse because then I can just, anyways, girl problems. <laughs> um, and then I got these muscle and joint patches. This one is medicated. This one is actually, they're both medicated. Um, mm -mm. this one is menthol cooling, powerful relief up to eight hours. This one is topical. It has menthol, menthol salicylate and camphor. Um, I don't know how good these work, 
but um, my husband is having some back pain right now and I tend to get back pain certain times. Um, I have um, scoliosis, so sometimes I'll get back pains if I'm, if I'm kind of over using a certain side of my back to, to compensate and so that might help for some sore muscles. I was really excited when I saw this and I was, my husband probably thought I was crazy, but it is one of those little old fashioned, maybe not old fashioned, but like ice packs. So you just open it up, put the ice in here, and it's waterproof. I love it. So um, I bought one of those to have. Go get your go get your tablet, my love. I love you too. Please go get your tablet. Go on. Oh, you're stepping on stuff. We'll stay over there for a minute, okay? All right. And then, so this was a different shopping trip. And I ended up with another <laughs> towel in there. I think he also got, oh, you know what? I think I might have it right here. Thank you. Just a minute. Ah, okay. So they have their own little version of um, Transformers. <laughs> they just got them. Um, and my son found them and he was so excited. So let me figure out push oh okay so you push this button so it's just a little water truck here Woo! <laughs> and it pops open the head comes out pops forward and then to close it you just go like that and then it's back to a truck how cool is that anyways that ends up in our car too and then do you want your transformer here. Um, here. and you got to show them no because we didn't get close to dollar tree Okay, and then this is the cutest thing ever. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I don't think I did. Um, or maybe I picked up two of them. But this has these adorable little um, mini, 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 mini sponges. Look how tiny to get those little corners. See, this would be so cute. This and this. And just like they have really good skincare sets. So you could do some really cute things for um, a gift basket. And then these are... You know what? I may have shown you guys this on my last video. I think it got stuck with my other bags though. If it did, I apologize. Um, it would just be that little, that bag of four items though. So we're, we should be good. Um, but they had these, <laughs> these crazy boxers, Star Wars. They're like super, super soft. They're like that buttery soft legging material. They've got the child on them. Um, they're a size medium. They're just random that they were there. And I got them for my son, my teenager. So, yep, I thought that was cool. And then I got this um, Brillo Oxy Blasting Remover. Um, I like the OxyClean stuff. They used to have it an Oxy Wash there that was a citrus, and it was in a tub. And I got it for years, and I haven't seen it since then. And I'll, I would put like a little spoonful in my laundry, and it would make my whites like super bright remove any stains. Um, this is good for carpet cleaning, spot removal, grout, tile cleaning, stain remover with your regular laundry detergent. Exactly. Um, yeah, mix with warm and hot tap water just to use as a cleaner. So I got this for that and it's actually a really good, heavy, decent, heavy bag, 16 ounces. So it's like decent sized, has a Ziploc thing in it. Um, and it feels, like it has yeah it has a little scooper in it too so um and then my last two bags are decor i was able to find these cute foil curtains so i got a pink foil curtain with the hearts and then i got the red foil curtain and i'm not seeing it huh it must have fallen out. I got the red foil curtain too, the red hearts. It was really cute. Um, I got Love You to the Moon and Back. How cute is this, you guys? Love You to the Moon and Back. So that's like, um, oh, sorry. Ah, my phone's dying. Um, this is thick right here. I don't know if you can see. It's like a frame. And then this is a little like cut out, wooden cut out. And then this just looks like it's painted on and it's glittery. How freaking cute. So I got that for my work. I I love these ones so much. Look at this love with the arrows and the arrows are a little detail. 
Um, this has the pink. So, so cute. And then this was the cutest thing ever. And I don't know why I love it so much. It's just a little spoon rest. White Millbrook. And it's exclusively, oh, this is a Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I've been looking for that to come to my store because I know that uh, quite a few other places have had them. But it's just, it has this grout ring on the bottom and it's just this like um, stoneware spoon rest. And I just thought it looked so nice. I actually was thinking that I might put this with our camping stuff because it's small and compact. Um, but yeah, they had a bunch of these and I thought they were so cute. So that's from Bed Bath & Beyond. Definitely not going to be a buck 25 there. Well, now they're out of business, but you know. <laughs> um... I did start seeing the St. Patty's Day stuff up, so I got the cleans, because I have to, you have to get them when you see them. And so I got them for my work. And then I got these adorable little chipboards. They're like little coaster looking things we're gonna just toss around. There's four of them. They're pretty thick. These ones are adorable. Rainbow and the Irish colors. And then they have the coins, which these are sometimes hard to find. So that was pretty cool. Um, three packs of those. Look at these. Look at these. Look how cute. For like a tiered tray or just to sit out. This one here with the rainbow. These are so cute, you guys. Um... And then I got two of each of these. So they've got like the lime green color with the black top hat, little like ornament looking thing. And then this darker with the gold hat. So I got two of those. And, and then I found this, and this was to show like some of the cute things you could do with a little um, basket. Cause this is gold. And then this is a cute little ceramic and gold heart, like jewelry box type thing, but you could use it to put things in too. Use it as just like a simple ring box, whatever you want. But how cute is that? So, and it looks, it looks really nice. Like the color of it and everything. It just looks really like sleek and not cheap. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty much my haul. I know it was a lot of food. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. Um, I think I got everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, hanging out, listening to me ramble. And um, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe, please comment below. I would love to have you guys follow me on my journeys. Let me know if there's anything that you guys are interested in seeing. If you guys wanna see some of my traveling journeys, um, we, like I said, we have our sprinter van, so we do go do a lot of road trips. Um, I can do some videos of those, of little collaborations of where we've been. If you guys have questions about where you think would be good to visit let me know i can let you know what i think is good and what we enjoy um and then um lastly comment where you're from your name what your favorite find is of this haul or even what your personal favorite find is um i love to chat i love to get to know people i am very talkative as you can tell so i would love to comment and interact um in the comments below um Hope you guys are having a wonderful, it's a Friday night for me, so a wonderful Friday night or probably post this tomorrow. So I hope you had a wonderful Friday night and have an amazing weekend. Um, we're getting snow for the next, we had it for the next, we've had it for two days and it's supposed to be about eight more days, 10 days straight. So we'll see what we end up with. But otherwise, happy weekend and thank you for joining. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.